Now we're going to learn how to factor quadratic equations wherein the quadratic term has a coefficient that is more than 1. So the factoring techniques that you should know to be able to factor out quadratic equations like this would be the technique on factoring by grouping and factoring using the GCF. Now I have two examples here of the two factoring techniques that you have seen before. Let's say we have 4x squared plus 2x using its GCF, which is 2x. If we factored out 4x squared and 2x, what's left in our parentheses will be 2x plus 1. And we know that we factored it correctly because when we distribute 2x to 2x plus 1, it will give us 4x squared plus 2x. So it's safe to say that factoring is just basically the reverse of the distributive property. Now, for example, number two, I have 5m plus 3xm plus 4x squared plus 8. This is an example of factoring by grouping, wherein we can group 5m plus 3xm, and we can also group 4x squared plus 8. And in this way, we can see that there's a common factor for 5m and 3xm, which is m. And for the second group, our greatest common factor would be 4. And by factoring it out, we are left with 5 plus 3x on our first parentheses, and we are left with x squared plus 2 on our second parentheses. And these two factoring techniques will be used in our lesson today in factoring quadratic equations when the leading term is no longer 1. On our first example, we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. The big x method is, is still going to be used, but we're going to modify it because now the coefficient is 2. Because if we look at the last term and think of a factor of or factors of 2 that will give us 5 and we, when we add them up, will no longer work. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our first term and our constant, so 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and this is going to be our new number that we're going to be using to solve our sort of puzzle, wherein when we multiply two factors or two numbers should be equal to 4, and when we add them up should be equal to the middle term, which is 5. So in this case, the factors of 4 that gives us 5 when we add them up will be 4 and 1. So that will be our first stage in working out this problem and sometimes the factors that we are looking for are easy to find and sometimes it would take a while for us to think of those two numbers because not all quadratic equations can be as simple as this one. Sometimes it would be uh, challenging and uh, you just need to be patient in finding those two numbers that we are going to be using to be able to complete our factoring procedure. Now let's move on to the second stage of our factoring technique. The next stage is copying our um, original polynomial, which is 2x squared, or the original quadratic term. And then the new middle term will now be 4x plus 1x. So we're not going to use 5x anymore for this factoring, for the second stage of our factoring technique. And the last term, we just need to copy it from the original. So our new polynomial will be 2x squared plus 4x plus 1x plus 2. And by factoring by grouping, we're now going to group the first pair, which is 2x squared plus 4x, and the second pair, which is 1x plus 2. And in this factoring technique, now we're going to be using G our GCF so we can factor out 2x squared and 4x. And the greatest common factor for these two terms will be 2x, and for the second group, our GCF will just be 1. Now let's concentrate on the first group and simplify 2x squared plus 4x by factoring. So 2x is now outside, and what's left inside would be x plus 2. And once again, we know that we factored it correctly because if we distribute this to our parentheses, it will give us 2x squared plus 4x. And for the second group, our GCF would be 1, and we know that it's just going to be the same if we pull out a 1 from x and 2. And you will notice that in this stage, our parentheses will be the same because now we have generated a uh, common factor between our two groups. And in this case, we're now going to be able to factor out x plus 2, and we are left with 2x plus 1 in our um, polynomial from our second stage 
factoring method. So now we have 2x plus 1 and x plus 2 as the factors of this quadratic equation or quadratic functions right here. And we know that we did it right because if we foil out 2x plus 1 and x plus 2, 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times 2 is 4x, 1 times x is 1x, and 1 times 2 is 2. And by simplifying it, we now have 2x squared plus 5x plus 2, which is the same as the original equation. So this is how we factor out quadratic equations when the leading term has a coefficient that is more than 1. So we have two stages. The first stage would be finding the factors of the product of the first and the last term. And then the second stage is factoring by grouping and using GCF. Now for our second example, we now have 6x squared minus 23x plus 7, and we're going to factor this out just like what we, or how we factored out the first example from our previous example. So 6x squared minus 23x plus 7, so multiply 6 and 7, and we'll have 42, and now we're going to look for a, uh, or look for factors of 42 that when we add them up, will be equal to negative 23. And in this case, to be able to produce this type of factor, we need to have two numbers that are negative because negative times negative is positive, but when we add them up, will be equal to negative. So the factors of 42 that will give, uh, that will give us negative 23 will be negative 21 times negative 2. So once again, Sometimes it would take us a little while to think of those two numbers, but with practice, it will be a lot easier. So now we're moving on to the second stage of our factoring method. So copying the first term, which is 6x squared, the numeral term will now be 21x minus 2x, and then we'll just, go, we'll just copy our last term, which is positive 7. And by grouping, we now have 2x squared minus 21x, and we have negative 2x plus 7. So from our first group, the greatest common factor would be 3x. And for our second group, you will notice that the first term is negative. Now in this type of factoring technique, it's safe to say that we would want to always make the first term to be positive. So in this case, I will take negative 1 as my GCF. So when I simplify it later, I will have an idea. Um, identical factors for my first group and my second group. So let's go ahead and factor out 6x squared minus 21x. So by factoring out 3x, we are now left with 2x minus 7. And if we take out the negative 1 from 2x, negative 2x plus 7, we are now going to have 2x minus 7, which you will notice will give us an identical factors form for our first two um, parentheses. So now that we have our 2x minus 7 as our greatest common factor, we can now pull out 3x minus 1 and group 2x minus 7 right here to find the factors of 6x squared minus 23x plus 7. Now, another use of factoring is to help us solve for the solutions of a quadratic equation or any polynomial for this matter. So in this case, using the zero product property, if we solve 3x minus 1 equal to 0 and 2x minus 7 equal to 0, we'll be able to solve for the solutions of our quadratic equations. And in this case, the solution of this particular quadratic equation will be x equals 1 over 3 and x equal to 7 over 2 by the zero product property. Now for our third example, we have 7x squared minus 26x minus 8. So just like what we did before, we're going to multiply 7 and negative 8, which is negative 56. And we'll use the middle term, which is negative 26, as our guide to find the perfect factor that we're looking for that will match our quadratic equation. And in this case, the numbers that we are looking for will be negative 28 and positive 2, because negative 28 times positive 2 is negative 56, and negative 28 plus 2 is negative 26. Now once again, sometimes it takes a while to find the factors, so 
be patient in finding the factors of the numbers that we're looking for just to complete the puzzle that will help us factor 7x squared minus 26x minus 8. So now that we're done with our first stage, let's move on to our second stage right here wherein we're going to rewrite our equation by copying 7x squared and writing out the new middle term which is negative 28x plus 2x minus h minus 8 which came from the original equation. So by grouping, we'll now have 7x squared minus 28x plus 2x minus 8. And by using the greatest common factor, for the first group, the greatest common factor will be 7x, leaving us with x minus 4. And for the second group, the greatest common factor would be 2, leaving us with x minus 4. With the two parentheses being the same, we can factor out x minus 4, leaving us with 7x plus 2 in our polynomial. So the factors of 7x squared minus 26 minus 8 would be 7x plus 2 and x minus 4.